to see you again. How's everything? Good. So we were here about two months ago. It was about two months ago. The for Avengers, Avengers Age of Ultron. My mind was being blown then, and it's being blown now. Yes. So what's it like to be here now for your movie? Um, it is. It is. Um, <laughs> It's a dream. I'm, I'm a kid from Kansas, and I am now in um, Hollywood, on Hollywood Boulevard, mm -hmm. uh, in front of the Dolby Theater, which is um, shut down, this whole area, yeah. for Ant-Man. You know, one of the, the coolest, weirdest, most lovable um, characters that, that there is. So it's really and, exciting. And not only are you a kid from Kansas, but you're a comic book fan from Kansas. This so is correct. So tell me a little bit about some of your favorites. You got it. I would, uh, third grade, walked into a 7-Eleven uh, in Overland Park, Kansas, and saw a spinning rack that had Marvel number 240 Avengers in it. Uh -huh. Bought it, have kept it ever since, as I've kept every other comic book. I got into uh, a series called the West Coast Avengers for a while. Hank Pym was a member of that team for a bit. And, um, and, and, and in fact, a, a, a really wonderful moment in my life was when we were almost the end of filming, I got a chance to spend some time with Stan Lee. Uh -huh. And I brought that first Avengers that I had ever purchased which I've kept along with thousands of others, and he signed it to my good, to my good friend Arlo, <laughs> Stanley, and that's uh, my son Arlo. Um, so I have that forever now in my heart. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can't give that one away, don't. No, 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 no. I'm not giving any of them away. My only concern is that someday I'm going to open the box of comics, and Arlo's going to look at it and be like, "Cool, where's the baseball?" I don't know. I think Marvel's doing pretty okay. So. I think I think so. Winning the hearts and minds of children and grown-ups around the world. So, did you and Paul Rudd bond about being from Kansas at all on set? We did. Um, Paul's a hometown hero. Yeah. You know, he, we, he went to Shawnee Mission West. I went to Shawnee Mission South, like rival high schools. He uh, is somebody that I have looked up to and admired for so long. So when I finally got to meet him and I got to say like, "Hey, I think we worked at the same mall," he was like, "What?" And we. Um, we had a fun game running by the end of our shoot together where we would try and pull the most obscure, specific references to um, the, the where we're from. I mean, we grew up like a mile away from each other. Yeah, so we, we, uh, that, was a, that was awesome for me. Well, the scenes between you and Paul Rudd, Michael Pena, T.I., those are some of the most fun scenes in the movie. What was it like being in the room with those guys? Did you stick to script? Was there a lot of improv? It, first of all, it was terrifying. You know, it was the first time that I've been called upon to get to play a role like this. This is something really different for me, you know. I I, I, um, I was so honored to get to be in the room, but then with those actors and Paul and Michael and T.I., their ability to riff and improvise is just incredible. So we always shot what was on the page. Peyton Reed, our director, he always knew what we needed to get out of the scene, but inevitably we'd get to the last line and then they just go. And I would sit there with my hands under the table holding my knees trying not to laugh and break and ruin these brilliant takes that they were giving us. Well tonight you are not going to have to hold back any of your laughter. Have a fantastic time at the film. Thanks. I'm sure so you're going to enjoy it. You. Thank you so much. Have fun tonight. You too. Thanks guys. Love Bye. you Marvel.